how to deal with certain life issues in your household, how to stay happy and gain some peace. Hey Thunder Guy 2720, I'm creating this video in response to what you told me about your situations. This video will not depict exactly what you told me, but just give broad advice about those circumstances. When I was a kid, I had always been different. And this was greatly noticed about me because I am an African American. As a child, I was taught basic knowledge about the Bible by reading the children's version. When I got a little older, I started reading the King James Version in high school. While in high school, I was surrounded by a lot of people who were very hateful due to their life circumstances, did not know how to treat others, and didn't really have a grasp on who they were as a person since they are technically still kids themselves. Trust me when I tell you, I've been through a lot. But while I went through those issues, I never forgot who I believed in. You may or may not be religious, but for me, the Christian religion was a counter perspective that I had that went against the norm of life. The way I was treated, in fact, was the norm of society. This treatment did not correlate with what I knew was right and wrong based off of the Bible. Ideas such as loving your neighbor as yourself and treating others how you want to be treated was not an experience most people have in high school. As a kid, it greatly confused me because I tried to live in that Christian lifestyle, but I was still getting mistreated even though I did nothing wrong. The hate and behavior presented to me at that age was making me bitter and unhappy without me fully realizing it. I really didn't have anyone to talk to about my situations either. My dad isn't in my life. Some things are better left unsaid at home, and I really didn't have the best of friends. So at the end of the day, I didn't have anyone to go to. When I finally got to a breaking point, I said, why am I different? I should just be like everyone else and I won't have to keep going through these unnecessary issues. As I thought that, it hit me almost instantly. Why would I choose to become the very thing that I hate when I know it's wrong? Then I remembered a Bible verse that said to pray for your enemies and forgive them genuinely in your heart. That realization came to me at the worst time. But from a wiser perspective, did it really? When it comes to believing in something, you must be able to represent that belief even when you're under pressure. Even if you have to sacrifice yourself for it. Example, we are taught bullying is wrong. If you see someone bullying another, you should do something to stop it, even if you don't get physically involved. If you do nothing, that means you just abandon your belief due to the pressure of the situation, as well as the consequences towards possibly getting bullied as well. I was young and nowhere near as wise as I am now, but I still somehow forced myself to do what the Bible said was right. All the hate, all the injustice done to me by teachers, students, life, family, etc. I still chose to pray for them. I even said to an extent that they really don't realize what they're doing. As I prayed, it felt like I was being ripped in half. It honestly is something that feels impossible, but I did it and it can be done. Today I realized in that action of obedience to the word of God from the Bible and genuine prayers for those who did me wrong, my deed allowed God to remove the evil seed that was planted in me at a young age due to the hatred shown to me by others. We don't see it, but at a young age, most of us go through these issues and don't realize that the devil has planted a seed of hate in us that is just sitting there and is manifesting into something horrible and hard to fix, just like a cavity or a disease. If a cavity gets too bad, you can lose your whole tooth. If you don't fix it in time, you can get a gum disease and actually die from it. After I did what I did, I can honestly tell you, to this day, there is a peace and strength in me that I cannot really explain.
Yes, I still get angry at times and I'm not perfect. But ever since then, I literally can't hold grudges for a long period of time against anyone anymore. I even remembered being angry at myself for letting certain things go in my life that pride would want me to hold on to. It wasn't like my life issues got better or easier, but the truth of the matter is I was able to handle my problems and was no longer completely unhappy or hateful about it anymore. This allowed me to grow and become a strong person. I lost that part of me that could just continue to dislike or feel a certain negative way about a person anymore. I knew that this was a good thing, but it's not in our nature to be this way. I know saying it like this may sound bad, weird, or different, but I think most of you guys understand what I'm talking about. Back then, I realized fully that hating only leaves you with bitterness. When life gets better, you will still have that hate in you if not dealt with, which means during the good times in your life, you won't even be able to enjoy it. By genuinely praying for those who prosecute you, it does something that actually heals the damage done in your soul. You start to realize how much better it is to not dwell in those hateful thoughts and you begin to move forward in your life. Realize now that we all go through problems. I always like to say, one will go through problems, but the mindset that one has when he or she goes through the issue is up to the individual. Lastly, I will quickly touch on the other issues Thunder God mentioned. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. These are aspects of a person that will develop and come to you over time. Kids are never too big, strong, or spiritually the wisest most of the time. You're still trying to find yourself in life. So don't let that get you down. Secondly, know the consequences of your actions. If someone did something to offend the one you care about, there is a proper way to handle it. Think about what you're doing first. Would your involvement make anything better in the long run? Maybe you should go to someone in authority that can properly handle your issue so it won't lead to any harm for yourself or the one you wish to protect. Thirdly, when you're young, you don't know what you want yet. People always want to say there are no good girls out there or vice versa. But the truth is people need to make themselves the good person they wish to be because I can guarantee you one day you will find someone just as good as long as you don't fall prey to just picking anyone beforehand. Don't just date for fun. I hope this video helped you out, bud. Just know true happiness cannot be obtained through wealth or people also the bible is what blessed me to have this perspective and wisdom once you realize the truth in life you will appreciate certain things more and find sincere happiness in the things that you already have